Today I am here to describe you the model of heart. How the heart is located in the chest cavity or thoracic cavity. Before discussing the model of heart, I want to show you how the heart is located in our thoracic cavity. In this model, you can easily uh, see that here are two lungs, chest cavity, how the lungs are present in the thoracic cavity. And between these two lungs is a cavity that is called mediastinum cavity. In this cavity, the heart is located. I, when I remove this portion of the right lung, you can see that how the heart is located. And I am also removing the left part of the lung. The location of the heart in anatomy viva, we can also say that the heart is located in the mediastinum cavity between the two lungs, right and left lung. And uh, anterior to the heart is intercostal muscles and ribs. And posteriorly, the heart has uh, esophagus and, and trachea. And at the superior side of the heart are the vessels that are arteries and veins. And inferior to the heart is the diaphragm. And at the lateral sides are the right and left lungs. Okay, whenever you have described the location of the heart, now we can demonstrate the module of heart. Okay, now I'm going to describe the model of heart. This is the model of heart and uh, heart is a muscular, uh, hollow muscular organ. It is made up of three layers. The outermost layer is called uh, uh, pericardium that surrounds the heart and the middle layer is called myocardium that, that is unique in its texture and the tissues present in the myocardium are not present elsewhere in the body. The innermost layer and the third one layer is called endocardium. The heart is placed in the mediastinum cavity in such a way that its base is present superiorly and the apex is present inferiorly. The apex ends at the fifth intercostal space and uh, from 9 cm to the midline at the left side. Okay. So, here you can see that these bluish and reddish color vessels are present. The bluish color vessels are called vena cava superior and inferior vena cava that drains blood from throughout the body and empty into the right atrium and this red vessel is called aorta that originates from the heart to supply the body with oxygenated blood and here three branches comes out at the arch of the aorta to supply the blood to supply the head brain and right and left arm with the oxygenated blood these bluish color vessels are called arteries this bluish color vessel is called vena cava both of these are bluish in color but the vessel is containing deoxygenated blood therefore its color is de uh, bluish and this is called pulmonary artery we are calling it artery because this is originating from the heart and going to the lungs for oxygenation of the blood so these are called pulmonary arteries but are bluish in color because the blood inside these vessels is, is deoxygenated and uh, after oxygenation from the lungs, the com blood comes back and uh, empty into the left atrium through these pulmonary veins. This is reddish in color, but we are also calling it calling these as veins because the definition of artery and vein is when the vessel is originating from the heart and goes into uh, outside of the heart, the, that vessel is called artery. And when the when any vessel is approaching toward the heart that is called vein whether it is containing oxygenated or deoxygenated blood when i remove this part the base of the heart that you can here see that here are two chambers this chamber is called right atrium this chamber is called left atrium and when i remove the anterior part of the heart here are two further chambers these chambers are called right ventricle this chamber is called right ventricle and this chamber is called left ventricle and the right and between the right atrium and right ventricle there are three walls that are called tricuspid walls that prevent the backflow of the blood from right ventricle to the right atrium and uh, between the left atrium and left ventricle there are also uh, valves present that are called bicuspid valves or mitral valves. The tricuspid valves are supported by uh, the chordae tendine. The chordae tendine provides a support to prevent uh, the backflow of blood from the right ventricle to the right atrium. And this ensures that the valves are, when the valves are closed, their structures could not be damaged by high pressure in the right or left ventricle. 
and uh, these are called chordae tendineae and the muscle that is attached to these chordae tendineae are called papillary muscles and you can see here this is called papillary muscles papillary muscle is joined to chordae tendineae and chordae tendineae are attached to tricuspid uh, valves to maintain their anatomical structure